Did you know that online sellers like Timu, AliExpress or Wish want to destroy the earth? Yes, they really want. I just found the evidence. They want to blow us all up. Just look at this. You can buy a horn for a truck. 300 decibels loud. Or oh, this one, 600 decibels. Well, it's twice as big, so it must be twice as loud. And this one, 1000 decibels. It runs on 12 and 24 volts. That's nice, but... Many years ago, I had a little argu argument with a sound technician who claimed that per 10 uh, viewers in a festival or so, you need one decibel louder sound. Well, makes sense, because people attenuate the sound, so you need a little bit more. And I said, well, if there is a festival with 10,000 uh, people, do you need 1,000 decibel? And he said, of course, no, but for small numbers of people, that's exact. But for the fun of it, I calculated once uh, how much power it would need to actually get 1000 decibels. I started my calculation with the assumption that we have a good hi-fi box that makes 94 decibels with one watt of music. So that's a realistic value. A good box, one watt of music, 94 decibel measured in one meter distance. That's pretty realistic. Then you need to know that for every 3 decibels you need twice as much power. So for 97 decibels you already need 2 watts. For 100 decibels you need 4 watts. For 103, 8, 16, 32 and so on. And if we look now on the graphics there is a smaller uh, curve that goes from 94 to 127 decibels and you can see for 127 decibels we already need about 2 kilowatts of power. Then we have a bigger curve that goes up to 184 uh, decibels and as you can see also from the numbers on the left side for 184 decibels, we already need more than a gigawatt of power. Tom Edison, how do you make so much energy? Well, here are some numbers. 140 decibels is about the sound of a fighter jet starting with afterburner on. Uh, 150 decibels is a cannon shot, maybe. Um, 300 decibels is the assumption that the explosion of Krakatoa in 1883 was about that loud. The estimates go from 180 to 310 decibels. The sound was heard up to 3000 miles away. This is an illustration of the Krakatoa explosion. It is said that the explosive force was about an equivalent of 500 megatons of TNT. That's about seven times the strength of the SAR bomba, the most powerful atomic bomb ever. It blew smoke and dust up to 34 miles high and created a tsunami wave of 130 feet that destroyed everything that was around that island. And of course 600 decibels is not twice as loud as 300 because it's a logarithmic scale. It's, it is 10 to the power of 29 times as loud. Well, it's louder than the explosion of the universe itself. 1000 decibels is 2 times 10 to the power of 90 watt. Our sun has 3.8 times 10 to the power of 26 watts. So it's 10 to the power of 63 suns. 
There are about 3 times 10 to the power of 11 suns in our galaxy, so we need about 10 to the power of 52 galaxies to explode, to turn into energy or whatever. Well, what do you think? Are these 1000 decibels realistic? Well, maybe not. I declare maximum bullshit. Power banks, we 200,000 milliamp hours, that's 200 amp hours. This battery pack here claims to have that much. Um, but how much is it? 200 amp hours? Well, here we have uh, different car batteries. They are all 100 amp hours. And you can see they are pretty big, pretty mas massive, pretty heavy. Of course, these are uh, lead acid batteries, not lithium batteries, but wait a moment. Here we have a 100 amp hours lithium battery. And if you notice, um, first of all, it's 130 euros and it weighs 2.8 kilos. And here we have another example of a 100 amp hour um, battery. It's 48 volts. Yes, it's a little bit more. And as you can see, it's rack mounted. That's how big it actually is. But look at this. There is another 200 amp hour battery. It costs 12 francs, so or 12 dollars about, and it fits in your pocket. How can they do that? It's incredible. I wanted to say impossible, yes, of course. Just look at it. It's smaller than your phone. Wow. I declare maximum bullshit. Oh no, we are not finished yet. We have a lot more to see. There are, for example, these high voltage generators. 400,000 volts, that's 400 kilovolts, yes, but it gets even worse. There is a model that has 1000 kilovolts, that's 1 megavolt, a million volts. And no, it's not a printing error, they really mean it, 1 million volts, as you can see here. Well, under normal circumstances, 10,000 volts make a spark of about 10 millimeters or 1 centimeter. So a million volt would make a spark with a length of about 1 meter. And that would look about like this. That's an experiment in the Technical Museum in Munich, Germany. Uh, it's called the High Voltage uh, Laboratory. And you can see that show it, it's once or twice a day. And I think they have about a generator that makes more or less a million volts. And this is another nice example of about 100 kilovolts or so. And now let's think again about these uh, generators here. It is absolutely impossible that they can make one megavolt because the leads are too close together. They must have a uh, distance of a minimum of one meter to get one megavolt. And if the distance is shorter, the voltage will be limited. And the same is for all these tasers you can buy. It is absolutely impossible that these devices have more than 20, 30, maybe 40,000 volts because the spark gap is too narrow and the spark gap limits the voltage like a Zener diode or something like that. You cannot have more. That's it. I declare maximum bullshit. Okay, so I hope you learned something today and uh, always check the numbers. That's all I can say. Thanks for watching.